The first trait of a pleasing personality is always a positive mental attitude, because nobody wants to be around a person who's negative. No matter what other traits you may have, if you don't have a positive mental attitude, at least when you're in the presence of people, you're not going to be considered to have a pleasing personality. Next is flexibility. The ability to unbend and adjust yourself to the varying circumstances of life without succumbing to them. There are many people in this world who are so stuck in their habits and mental attitudes that they cannot adjust to anything unpleasant or anything they don't agree with. Do you know why Franklin D. Roosevelt was one of the best? He adjusted himself to various situations and didn't get mad. Like the elephant, which has learned to be flexible enough not to get mad when another elephant is mad. There are many things in life that you have to adjust yourself to temporarily if you're going to. Have peace of mind and good health. Number three is a pleasing tone of voice. Many people have harsh tones that lack personal magnetism. Learning to use a pleasing tone in your voice is essential, whether you're teaching, lecturing, public speaking, or engaging in conversation. It requires practice and experimenting, but it's crucial to convey your message effectively. Tolerance is having an open mind on all subjects towards all people at all times. Having prejudices will push people away from you, as they will sense your closed-mindedness. It's important to treat everyone with an open mind and respect regardless of their beliefs or backgrounds. A keen sense of humor is essential for adjusting to unpleasant situations. Laughter is a great tonic, helping to melt away troubles and make them seem less significant. Learning to laugh at yourself can be especially beneficial in diffusing tense situations. Frankness of manner and speech involves controlling the tongue at all times and thinking before speaking. Being honest and straightforward in your communication builds trust and respect with others. Having a pleasing facial expression, such as smiling, can significantly enhance your interactions with others. Smiling while talking to people can make what you say more effective and leave a positive impression on the listener. Having a keen sense of justice, even when it's to your disadvantage, is admirable and endearing to others. Being fair and just in your actions builds trust and respect in your relationships. Sincerity of purpose is important, as nobody likes a person who is obviously insincere. Being genuine in your words and actions fosters trust and credibility with others. Tactfulness in speech and attitude towards others can greatly improve your interactions. Being tactful and considerate in your communication can help you navigate challenging situations and build positive relationships. Promptness in decisions shows decisiveness and reliability. Making timely decisions demonstrates leadership and efficiency in your actions. Faith in infinite intelligence involves believing in a higher power and trusting in its guidance. Having faith can provide strength and direction in challenging times. Appropriateness of words means using language that is respectful and suitable for the situation. Avoiding slang and double talk enhances clarity and professionalism in communication. Controlled enthusiasm involves knowing when to express enthusiasm appropriately. Exuding enthusiasm can energize and inspire others, but it's important to temper it and not overdo it. Temperance in all aspects of life, including eating, drinking, working, playing, and thinking, promotes balance and moderation for overall well-being. Patience under all circumstances is essential for maintaining composure and timing in relationships and decision-making. Gracefulness and posture and carriage reflect self-respect and confidence. Maintaining good posture contributes to a positive impression and physical well-being. Humility of the heart involves recognizing and accepting one's limitations and faults. True humility fosters openness, growth, and empathy towards others. Personal magnetism, although largely inborn, can be controlled and directed towards positive outcomes. Harnessing your innate energy and charisma can enhance your influence and appeal to others. In summary, developing a pleasing personality involves cultivating various traits such as positivity, flexibility, sincerity, tactfulness, and patience. Practicing these qualities in your interactions and decision-making can lead to personal growth, strong relationships, and success in both social and professional settings. There's no doubt that maintaining a positive mental attitude is the cornerstone of a pleasing personality. People naturally gravitate towards those who exude positivity, as opposed to negativity. Even if you possess other desirable traits, without a positive mindset, your personality won't be as appealing. Flexibility is another crucial trait. It's about being adaptable and resilient in the face of life's challenges. Those who are rigid and resistant to change often struggle to connect with others and navigate difficult situations. Take Franklin D. Roosevelt as an example. 
His ability to adapt and remain composed during challenging times earned him respect and admiration. Having a pleasing tone of voice is also essential. It's not just about the words you speak, but how you deliver them. A pleasant tone can enhance communication and create a more positive interaction with others. Practice speaking calmly and respectfully to improve your tone and charisma. Open-mindedness and tolerance are fundamental qualities for building relationships and understanding different perspectives. Being receptive to diverse viewpoints fosters harmony and cooperation, making you more approachable and likable. A sense of humor is a valuable asset in any social setting. Laughter can ease tension, uplift spirits, and strengthen connections between people. Cultivate your ability to find humor in everyday situations and use it as a tool to diffuse conflicts and build rapport. Frankness and sincerity in speech are also highly regarded. People appreciate honesty and authenticity, even when it's uncomfortable. Avoiding double talk and speaking truthfully fosters trust and credibility in your interactions. Courtesy and politeness are timeless virtues that never go out of style. Treating others with respect, regardless of their status or background, demonstrates your character and earns you admiration. Personal grooming and presentation also play a role in how others perceive you. While it's not about being overly flashy, presenting yourself well shows that you value yourself and others enough to make a good impression. Showmanship, when used appropriately, can enhance your communication and presentation skills. Knowing when to add flair and drama to your words or actions can captivate and engage your audience effectively. Temperance in all aspects of life, including eating, drinking, working, and thinking, is essential for maintaining balance and self-control. Excess in any area can lead to problems, so practicing moderation is key. Patience is a virtue that allows you to navigate challenges and setbacks gracefully. By exercising patience, you demonstrate resilience and fortitude, earning respect and admiration from others. Lastly, humility keeps you grounded and prevents arrogance from tarnishing your character. Recognizing your limitations and being open to learning from others cultivates humility, making you more approachable and relatable. In summary, developing a pleasing personality requires a combination of positive traits, including positivity, flexibility, good communication, open-mindedness, humor, honesty, courtesy, grooming, showmanship, temperance, patience, and humility. By embodying these qualities, you can build strong relationships, earn respect, and lead a fulfilling life. In every journey toward personal excellence and achieving our dreams, the fuel that keeps our engines running isn't just the goals we set or the plans we lay down. It's the attitude we carry in our hearts and minds, the very essence of a fulfilling life. And the cornerstone of becoming the person you aspire to be is rooted in maintaining a positive mental attitude. This isn't just about seeing the glass as half full rather than half empty. It's about understanding that every challenge holds an opportunity, every setback a lesson, and every interaction a chance to spread positivity. Consider the story of a young entrepreneur who faced rejection after rejection in the early days of his venture. Each no could have weighed him down into the depths of negativity. But instead, he chose to see each rejection not as a door slamming shut, but as a redirection to a path yet unexplored. This mindset, this unwavering belief that there was a solution for every problem, a market for his product, was what eventually led him to his breakthrough. His journey was far from easy. But his positive attitude acted as a beacon, guiding him through the darkest nights towards his dawn of success. Now why is this important for us? Why should we care about maintaining a positive attitude amidst the turbulence of life? The answer lies in the transformative power of positivity. It's about more than just feeling good. It's about creating a mindset that attracts opportunities, fosters meaningful relationships, and catalyzes personal growth. When we adopt a positive outlook, we don't just navigate life more effectively, we also set a foundation for becoming the very person we dream to be. Embracing positivity isn't about ignoring the realities of life's hardships. Instead, it's about choosing to face them with courage, resilience, and hope. It's about deciding to learn from every situation, to grow stronger from every challenge, and to spread light even on the darkest days. This choice, this commitment to positivity, is what paves the way for true transformation. It's what allows us to evolve step by step into the individuals we aspire to become. As we journey through life with a positive mindset as our guiding star, let's turn our gaze towards the horizon where our future selves reside. Imagine for a moment standing on the peak of a mountain, 
looking out across vast landscapes of possibility. This vision, this picture in your mind, is the first step towards becoming the architect of your own destiny. The power to define your aspirations, to paint the canvas of your life with bold and vibrant colors, rests within your hands. It's about more than just daydreaming. It's about crafting a vision so vivid and compelling that it pulls you towards it with the force of gravity. Every thread is a goal, a milestone on your journey to your ideal future self. The importance of setting detailed and meaningful personal and professional goals cannot be overstated. These are not just items on a checklist to be ticked off. They are the stepping stones across the river of challenges. The stars that guide us through the night. By setting goals, you articulate your desires, commit to pursuing your dreams, and take the first step towards turning the intangible into the tangible. But how do we ensure these goals truly resonate with our deepest aspirations? How do we make sure they are not just echoes of societal expectations or the fleeting whims of the moment? The key lies in aligning them with your vision of your ideal future self. Begin by asking yourself what truly matters to you, what brings you joy, and what ignites the flames of passion in your heart. These questions are the compass that will guide your goal-setting process. Once you have clarity on what you want to achieve, the next step is to bring your vision to life. Creating a vision board is a powerful tool in this endeavor. This is not merely an arts and crafts project. It is a visual representation of your dreams, a constant reminder of where you're headed. Populate your vision board with images, quotes, and symbols that reflect your goals and aspirations. Place it somewhere you'll see it every day to serve as a beacon that keeps you focused and inspired. Similarly, writing down your goals imbues them with a sense of purpose and urgency. The act of writing is a declaration, a commitment you're making to yourself. But don't just list your goals. Delve deeper. For each goal, write down why it's important to you, what achieving it would mean for your life, and the steps you need to take to make it a reality. This practice transforms abstract desires into concrete plans of action. Remember that the path to achieving your vision is rarely straight. It will twist and turn with highs and lows. But with each step forward, you are not just moving closer to your goals. You are also becoming the person capable of achieving them. The transformation is not just in the milestones you reach, but in the growth that happens within you along the way. Hold your vision close to your heart. Let it guide you like a beacon in the night. As you navigate the seas of life with a clear vision of your ideal future and detailed, meaningful goals that light your path, no dream is too far, no ambition too lofty. In this journey of a thousand miles that begins with a single step, each step should be taken with purpose, with passion, and with a relentless pursuit of the vision that ignites your soul. Remember, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, and it is in your power to make those dreams come true. As we chart our course through the uncharted waters of our dreams and aspirations, armed with a clear vision and a heart full of hope, there is one compass that remains crucial in navigating the journey to becoming the person we aim to be. Self-discipline. This invisible force, often overlooked, is the foundation upon which the edifice of success is built. It is the inner strength that empowers us to make decisions that are in alignment with our goals. Even when the allure of momentary pleasures or the weight of challenges tempts us to veer off course. Self-discipline impacts every facet of our being and every step of our journey. And it molds our character, sharpens our focus, and fuels our persistence. It's what compels us to rise with the sun, to commit to our vision board and our written goals, and to pursue them with unwavering resolve. But how does one cultivate this critical trait? How do we strengthen this muscle to ensure it can support the weight of our ambitions? The secret lies in setting small, achievable targets. Just as a marathon runner doesn't begin their training with a 26-mile run, but rather builds up their stamina mile by mile, so too must we approach the development of self-discipline. Start by identifying one small habit you can change, or one small action you can consistently take, that moves you closer to your goals. It might be as simple as waking up 15 minutes earlier to plan your day, or dedicating a small block of time each evening to learning something new related to your aspirations. The key is consistency. Each small victory is a building block in the foundation of your self-discipline, reinforcing your belief in your ability to commit and follow through. Let me bring this concept to life with an inspiring example. Imagine a writer who dreamt of penning a novel that would touch the hearts of millions. Despite a demanding day job and family commitments, he pledged to write at least one page a day. 
This goal, seemingly modest, required him to exercise significant self-discipline, often sacrificing leisure time and battling the siren call of procrastination. Day after day, page after page, his discipline never wavered. And in time, those pages filled with words, thoughts, and dreams coalesced into a manuscript. That manuscript, fueled by his unwavering self-discipline, not only fulfilled his dream of publishing a novel, but also catapulted him to the ranks of best-selling authors. This story is a testament to the power of self-discipline to transform the smallest of actions into the grandest of achievements. As we absorb the essence of this tale, reflect on the self-discipline that lies dormant within each of us, waiting to be summoned forth. It is a call to action, a challenge to harness our inner strength and direct it towards the realization of our potential. The journey to becoming who we want to be is paved with the stones of self-discipline. Each step taken with self-discipline moves us not just closer to our goals, but transforms us into individuals of strong character, unwavering focus, and indomitable spirit. Remember that self-discipline is not a gift bestowed upon a select few, but a skill that can be developed and honed. It is within the grasp of each person who dares to dream, to set their sights on a vision of their ideal future self, and to commit to the journey of becoming that person. With self-discipline as our steadfast companion, there is no vision too lofty, no goal too distant, and no dream beyond our reach. Where each thread represents our choices, experiences, and the lessons we've learned, one thread shines particularly brightly, illuminating the path to our true potential. This thread is the commitment to continuous learning and growth. It's a fundamental truth that the world around us is in a constant state of evolution, and to navigate this ever-changing landscape, we must cultivate a spirit of curiosity and a passion for lifelong learning. Imagine life as a vast ocean and yourself as a vessel navigating these waters. The depths of the ocean are filled with undiscovered treasures, hidden knowledge waiting to be unearthed. To reach these depths and claim the riches within, we must be willing to dive deeper, to push beyond the comfort of the familiar, and to embrace the unknown. This is the essence of a learning mindset. It's about seeing every day as an opportunity to learn something new, to expand our horizons, and to grow beyond the confines of our current selves. Now, integrating this philosophy into our daily routines might seem like a daunting task at first glance, yet the beauty of learning lies in its accessibility. It can be as simple as reading a few pages of an insightful book each morning, listening to educational podcasts during our commutes, or even dedicating time each week to explore a new hobby or skill. The key is to make learning a habit, a non-negotiable part of our daily lives, much like eating or sleeping. By doing so, we not only enhance our knowledge and skills, but also keep our minds sharp, agile, and open to new ideas. Draw inspiration from the story of a woman named Sarah. Sarah found herself at a crossroads in life, working a job that paid the bills but didn't ignite her passion. He felt stuck, craving more from life but uncertain of how to break free from the monotony. It was during this time of introspection that Sarah stumbled upon the concept of continuous learning. She made a pact with herself to learn something new every day, no matter how small. She started with online courses in graphic design, a field she had always been curious about but never explored. Day after day, Sarah dedicated herself to her studies, applying what she learned to small projects. Her curiosity fueled her determination, and as her skills grew, so did her confidence. Months turned into a year, and Sarah's commitment to learning transformed her life in ways she had never imagined. She transitioned into a career in graphic design, finding not only financial stability, but also a profound sense of fulfillment and joy in her work. Sarah's story is a testament to the power of adopting a learning mindset. It's about more than acquiring new knowledge. It's about transforming our lives one lesson at a time. As we reflect on Sarah's journey, consider our own paths. Each of us has the ability to reshape our destiny through our choices and our willingness to embrace continuous learning and growth. It is a journey that requires courage, as it requires us to step out of our comfort zones, challenge our preconceived notions, and open ourselves to the endless possibilities that life has to offer. As we navigate the complexities of our lives, let's do so with a heart full of curiosity and a mind open to learning. Be relentless in our pursuit of knowledge, for it is through this pursuit that we unlock our true potential and embark on the journey to becoming the best versions of ourselves. Remember, 
The quest for learning is a journey with no final destination, because there is always another horizon to explore, another secret to uncover, and another dream to chase. Much like a sailor navigating through stormy seas, we are inevitably faced with challenges and failures. These tempests test our resilience, shake our boats, and at times might even capsize us. Yet it's not the storm that defines us, but our courage to sail again after the storm has passed. Understanding that challenges and failures are not roadblocks, but stepping stones is crucial in the tapestry of our personal and professional growth. The art of resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks, is akin to learning how to swim. Just as one learns to float after a few attempts, similarly, resilience is cultivated through consistent effort and a positive mindset. Embrace every challenge with open arms, knowing that it brings with it a lesson, an opportunity to learn, and grow stronger. When faced with failure, take a moment to step back, reflect on what went wrong, and how it can be improved upon. This reflective process is invaluable, transforming mistakes into learning opportunities. Maintaining motivation amidst adversity is like keeping the fire burning on a windy night. It requires protection, effort, and sometimes a bit of creativity. Set small, achievable milestones on your way to bigger goals. Celebrate these small victories, for they are the fuel that keeps the fire of motivation burning. Surround yourself with stories of inspiration, people who have overcome obstacles, and let their journeys light up your path. Let me share with you the story of Emma, a budding entrepreneur whose dream was to open a cafe that doubled as a community space. Emma poured her heart and soul into this venture, only to be met with one obstacle after another. From financial hurdles to location issues, it seemed as though her dream was slipping through her fingers. The final blow came when just weeks before the grand opening, a severe storm caused significant damage to her nearly finished cafe. For Emma, giving up would have been the easy route, but it was not one she was willing to take. Instead, she saw this as an opportunity to reach out to the community she hoped to serve. She started a crowdfunding campaign, not only to raise the funds needed for repairs, but also to involve the community in her journey. The response was overwhelming, with people from all walks of life contributing to her cause, offering services, and spreading the word. The grand opening of Emma's Cafe was more than just the launch of a business. It was a celebration of resilience, community, and the power of not giving up. Today, her cafe stands not only as a testament to her perseverance, but also as a warm, welcoming space that embodies the strength and support of the community that rallied around her. Emma's story is a beacon of hope for anyone facing seemingly insurmountable obstacles. It reminds us that while we cannot control the storms that come our way, we can adjust ourselves, learn from the experience, and continue to navigate towards our dreams. The journey towards overcoming obstacles and failures is not a solitary one. It is paved with the lessons we learn, the resilience we build, and the support we garner along the way. Don't get discouraged by failures, but be motivated to get back up, learn from your mistakes, and move forward with determination and hope. Remember, the prettiest rainbows often follow the darkest storms. The pursuit of our dreams is not just about reaching the destination. It's about the journey, the obstacles we overcome, the lessons we learn, and the growth we experience along the way. With resilience as our compass and inspiration as our sail, there's no storm we can't weather, no dream we can't achieve. Navigating through the tumultuous waters of life's challenges, one is seldom alone. The presence of mentors, peers, and a supportive community acts as the lighthouse guiding us to our destined shores. The significance of this supportive network cannot be overstated. It's the bedrock upon which we can build the edifice of our dreams and aspirations. This network of support does more than just provide advice. It empowers, motivates, and sometimes even redirects our journey towards unthought of avenues. Finding these guiding stars in our lives involves not just looking, but actively seeking out those whose values align with ours, whose successes inspire us, and whose wisdom can light the path ahead. Start by identifying individuals you admire within your sphere or beyond. Reach out, express your admiration for their journey, and ask questions. You'd be surprised how often people are willing to share their insights and experiences. In parallel, immerse yourself in communities, both physical and digital, that resonate with your passions and goals. These communities are fertile ground for meeting peers who are on similar paths, offering opportunities for mutual growth and support. Nurturing these relationships is like tending a garden. 
It requires patience, effort, and a genuine interest in mutual well-being. Be proactive in offering your own experiences and insights. Be a sounding board for ideas, and celebrate their successes as if they were your own. Remember, the strongest networks are built on the foundation of reciprocity and genuine connection. Allow me to share a story that beautifully illustrates the transformative power of a supportive network. It's the story of James, a young writer struggling to find his voice in the vast world of literature. Despite his talent, James faced rejection after rejection, each one a blow to his confidence and resolve. It was during this period of doubt that he crossed paths with Clara, an established author who saw potential in James's raw, unpolished talent. Clara took James under her wing, not only mentoring him but also introducing him to her literary circle. This community of writers provided James with the feedback, encouragement, and most importantly, the belief in his ability that he so desperately needed. Under the nurturing gaze of Clara and her community, James flourished. His writing gained depth and maturity, and in time, he published his first novel. The novel was not just a personal triumph for James, but a testament to the strength and generosity of the network that had embraced him. James's journey from obscurity to recognition was not a solitary trek, but a voyage made rich and meaningful through the support of his mentors and peers. Our paths are illuminated by the people we journey with, the mentors who guide us, the peers who walk alongside us, and the communities that embrace us. Collectively, they form the constellation that guides us to our destinations. In recognizing and nurturing these relationships, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to a culture of support and generosity that can ripple through the lives of others. As we forge ahead in pursuit of our dreams, remember the importance of building and cherishing these networks of support. For in the end, it is not just our successes, but the richness of our relationships that define the legacy we leave behind. The bridge that connects these two realms is built not of wishes or hopes, but of consistent, deliberate and focused actions. The dreams that ignite our spirits and the visions that dance in our minds can only be brought to life through the steps we take towards them every single day. This path requires more than just knowing where we want to go. It demands that we move, that we take strides however small towards the destinations we yearn to reach. A concept that embodies the essence of taking action is eating that frog. A metaphor that encapsulates the idea of tackling the most daunting task first thing in the morning. Imagine if you will, that each day presents you with a frog that you must eat, an unpleasant task, a challenge that you've been dreading. The principle suggests that by facing this task head on at the start of your day, not only do you accomplish something significant, but you also gain the momentum and the confidence to tackle other tasks. This frog, this challenge, becomes your stepping stone propelling you forward with a sense of achievement that energizes the rest of your day. But how do we break down our grand goals into these actionable tasks, into these frogs that we can conquer day by day? The first step lies in clarity, being crystal clear about what we want to achieve. With clarity, we can then delineate our goals into smaller, more manageable objectives, each serving as a milestone on our journey. These objectives then get broken down further into tasks, actions that we can undertake on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. Take the example of aspiring to write a book, a dream harbored by many. The overarching goal can seem overwhelming at first glance. However, when broken down, it becomes a series of actionable steps, outlining the chapters, dedicating time each day to write a certain number of words, seeking feedback, revising, and so on. Each step, each task brings you closer to your goal transforming what seemed like a mountain into a series of manageable hills. An inspiring instance of this principle in action is the story of Anna, who dreamt of running a marathon, but had never run more than a few miles. The goal seemed far-fetched, almost impossible. However, by breaking it down first, by running short distances, then gradually increasing her mileage each week, and incorporating strength training and proper nutrition into her routine, what seemed impossible became achievable. Each run, each step she took was a testament to the power of action. Not only did Anna complete the marathon, but she also discovered a reservoir of strength and determination within her that transcended the realm of running. As we navigate our paths towards turning aspirations into reality, embrace the discipline of action. Be inspired to eat that frog, to take those steps that may seem small, but are, in truth, 
giant leaps towards our goals. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And it is through these steps, these actions, that we turn the intangible into the tangible, our dreams into our destinies. In the whirlwind of our quest for success, our relentless pursuits of our dreams and ambitions, it's all too easy to let the very essence of what fuels our journey, our physical and mental wellness, slip through the cracks. Yet, maintaining this balance, ensuring that we are as diligent in caring for our well-being as we are in reaching for our goals, is not just important, it's essential. The strength of our bodies and the resilience of our minds are the bedrock upon which our capabilities to achieve rest. Without them, even the loftiest goals remain out of reach. Incorporating wellness into a bustling schedule may seem daunting, but it is not only achievable, it's fundamentally simple. Start with integrating small bouts of activity into your day. Take the stairs instead of the elevator, a brief walk during lunch, or a short stretching session between tasks. These moments of physical engagement not only invigorate the body, but also clear the mind, providing a fresh perspective and a burst of energy. Equally, give your mental health the attention it deserves. Dedicate a few minutes each day to mindfulness or meditation. These practices anchor us, offering a haven of calm in the storm of daily life. They remind us that peace of mind is not a distant luxury, but a present possibility. Remember, the journey to becoming your best self is not a race, it's a marathon. Along this path, taking care of your physical and mental health isn't a detour, it's part of the route. By weaving wellness into the fabric of our daily lives, we don't just inch closer to our goals. We ensure that once we reach them, we're in the best possible shape to enjoy the view from the top. As we come to the close of our shared reflections on the transformative journey of self-improvement, it's vital to recognize that this path we tread is woven with the very essence of life itself. Each step taken, each hurdle overcome adds to the rich tapestry of our existence, making the journey not just a means to an end, but a reward in its own right. The pursuit of becoming our best selves is not marked solely by the milestones we reach, but by the growth we experience, the resilience we build, and the joy we find in the process. Celebrate the small victories, for they are the whispers of progress, gently nudging you forward reminding you of the strength and perseverance that resides within. Allow these moments to be beacons of light, guiding you through the moments of doubt and challenge. Remember, the grandest achievements are often composed of these seemingly minute successes, each one a crucial step on the path to fulfillment. And so, as we stand at the precipice of tomorrow, let this be your call to act. Begin today, not tomorrow, not next week, but this very moment. Embrace the journey of self-improvement with open arms, for it is in this journey that you will uncover the boundless potential that lies within you. Be patient, be persistent, and above all, believe in yourself. In the process, the road to personal excellence is paved with the choices we make today. So choose to take that first step, to commit to the journey, and to embark on the beautiful adventure of becoming the very best version of yourself. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to unveil a secret that has the potential to transform your life in ways you never thought possible. It's a habit so powerful, so profound, that once you embrace it, you'll unlock a supply of untapped potential within yourself. A potential that will propel you to heights beyond your wildest imagination. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. To succumb to the pressures and demands of daily life. But amidst the chaos, there exists a habit, a simple yet profound practice that has the power to set you apart from the crowd, to elevate you to a level of success and fulfillment that few ever attain. What is this habit, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you, it's the habit of discipline. Now you might be wondering what makes this habit so special. The answer lies in its transformative power, its ability to shape your thoughts, actions, and ultimately, your destiny. So, as we embark on this journey together today, I urge you to open your mind and your heart to the possibility of adopting this powerful habit. Allow yourself to imagine the extraordinary impact it can have on your life, the doors it can open, the opportunities it can create, the dreams it can turn into reality. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the power of habit. Now let's delve in and discover the incredible potential that lies within each and every one of us to become truly powerful beyond belief. The journey to success is not a light stroll, 
but a challenging voyage that requires unwavering commitment to the path of discipline. With each step, we draw closer, not only to our goals, but also to the best version of ourselves. Discipline is not a shackle that confines us, but the wings that lift us to unforeseen heights. It is the beacon that illuminates our path in the dark nights of uncertainty, steadfastly guiding us to the safe shores of success. In the annals of history, we find tales of giants whose achievements echoed through the ages. Behind every monumental feat, we discover the indelible footprint of discipline, forging legends that inspire and challenge all those who aspire to greatness. So today, in this sacred space of reflection, I invite each of you to embrace discipline as the catalyst for your own destiny. May every act of self-discipline be a brick that builds the bridge between your dreams and the reality you yearn to achieve. On this journey of discovery and conquest, let us always remember that discipline is not just a means to an end, but a loyal companion on the extraordinary journey that is life. With it by our side, we become architects of our destiny, sculpting success with the mastery of those who understand that greatness is the result of sustained discipline. May this discourse be the spark that ignites the flame of discipline in every present heart. And together, let us forge a future where success is the resounding echo of our efforts. Several years ago, I met a renowned authority in personal development, Jim Rohn. This expert uncovered principles of success, and by the time I met him, he had published four books, each containing 250 of these principles. I asked him which one he considered the most important, and he immediately said it was discipline, which he defined as the ability to force yourself to do what you should at the moment you should, whether you like the idea or not. After interviewing 500 of the wealthiest people in the United States, Napoleon Hill also concluded that discipline was the key to becoming rich. Tom Ziegler, the famous sales coach, once said, Success depends on tons of discipline. Jim Rohn said, Discipline weighs ounces, but regret weighs tons. Dr. Edward Banfield of Harvard University concluded that long-term perspective was the key to social and economic ascent. Over 50 years of research, Banfield found that people who achieved great success were able to delay short-term gratification to enjoy even greater rewards in the long term. The key word in this concept is sacrifice. Therefore, saving and investing in the present is essential for economic success in the future. Personal discipline involves being able to control yourself, to master yourself, to eat the main course first and dessert last. But beware, this does not mean you cannot have enjoyable experiences, but rather that you should only try to live them once you have done the hard and necessary work, and after finishing all your essential tasks. The reward for observing personal discipline comes immediately. Every time you force yourself to do the right thing, whether you like it or not, you will like yourself more, and you will respect yourself more. Your self-esteem will increase, the image you have of yourself will improve, and your brain will release endorphins that will make you feel happy and proud. In fact, every time you force yourself to comply and do the right thing, you will receive rewards. Best of all, discipline is a habit that you can also learn through practice and repetition. To develop a medium complexity habit, you need to perform the action for 21 days without fail. Sometimes you can form a habit faster, but other times it takes longer. It all depends on you and how determined you are. A few years ago, a businessman named Herbert Gray began to investigate and search for what he called the common denominator of success. He interviewed successful people for 11 years and eventually concluded that it was people who formed the habit of doing what mediocre people did not do. It turns out that successful people don't like doing those things either, but they force themselves to do them because they realize that's the price they must pay if they want to succeed. Rich DeVos Co-founder of Amway, once said, There are many things in life that I don't like doing, such as finding new customers or selling and spending nights and weekends building a business. Nevertheless, I do them because that's the only way I can later do the things I truly enjoy. Every time you exercise your personal discipline, you strengthen all your other positive qualities. And similarly, if you are weak in discipline, the weakness spreads to all other areas of your personality. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's embark on seven disciplines that hold the power to elevate every aspect of your life. Disciplines that you can cultivate within yourself. First and foremost is the discipline of clear thinking. Thomas Edison once remarked that thinking was the most challenging discipline of all, a sentiment echoed by many throughout history. Indeed, there exists a spectrum of individuals, 
those who actively engage in deep thinking, those who believe they do, and those who shy away from the mental exertion it demands. Take a moment to ponder the pivotal issues and dilemmas in your life. Carve out extended periods to do so, be it 30, 60, or 90 minutes. As the great Peter Drucker noted, hasty decisions often lead to regrettable outcomes. Instead, deliberate over your family, career, finances, and other fundamental aspects with utmost care. Sit quietly, embrace solitude, and allow your thoughts to roam freely. Aristotle famously stated, Wisdom is the combination of experience and reflection. The deeper your contemplation, the richer the insights you glean from your experiences. Regular periods of solitude activate your superconsciousness and awaken intuition, guiding you towards clarity and resolution. Consider maintaining a journal, jotting down the intricacies of your challenges. Sometimes the act of articulating your thoughts on paper can display solutions. Engage in activities like walking or exercise for 30 to 60 minutes. They foster clarity of thought and bolster decision-making prowess. Additionally, look for counsel from a trusted confidant, someone detached from the emotional entanglements of your predicament. A fresh perspective can often illuminate new pathways and redefine your understanding of the A situation. Always challenge assumptions. Ask yourself, what am I assuming? What assumptions underpin my perspective on this situation? By scrutinizing these underlying beliefs, you open the door to overwhelming insights and transformative growth. Alec McKenzie, a time management specialist, once wrote, Raw assumptions are the origin of all failures. The second discipline that will help you succeed is to set a goal every day. This practice has transformed my life and the lives of thousands of people. Now that you know that focus and concentration are essential aspects of success, start by asking yourself, what do I really want to do with my life? Ask yourself this question again and again until you have a clear answer. Imagine you have $20 million in cash, but you only have 10 years left to live. What would you change immediately? Imagine that nothing limits you. Imagine that you have a magic wand that gives you access to all the time, money, education, experience, and contacts. What would you do? I'll give you an exercise. Buy a notebook and write in it every day. Write down 10 goals in PPP format. Positive, present, and personal. Start each goal with the word I, followed by an action verb. For example, I earn X amount of dollars by such date. Every day before starting the day, rewrite your top 10 goals in the present tense, as if you had already achieved them. And only rewrite the goals on a new piece of paper, without looking at the previous one. In other words, rewrite them from memory. Watch how they develop and change over time. And as you rewrite them, many people tell me that this discipline of setting goals every day has changed their lives faster than they imagined. Once I gave a talk in Galveston, Texas, and the person who introduced me stood up and said, I have to tell you about my experience with Brian Tracy. Then he took out a notebook and continued. When I met him, he told me to write down my goals every day, and I started doing it immediately. That completely changed my life. He explained, waving the notebook in the air. I achieved all the goals I wrote down. I had never done anything so powerful in my life. Do it. It's an excellent discipline. The third discipline is to manage your time daily. Every minute spent planning saves 10 in execution. The more you plan, the more you will make the most of your time, and the more you will achieve. Imagine this. If you spend between 10 and 12 minutes every morning planning your day, because that's all it would take, you would save 120 minutes that you could use to achieve your goals. That is two hours daily. This represents a 25% increase in productivity, and all as a result of planning your day early. Start by making a list of everything you will do. The best time to write the list is the night before because that way, your subconscious can work on it while you sleep. Organize the list by priorities. Before you start working, review it and analyze everything you have to do. Define what is most and least important. Practice the 80-20 rule, which says that 80% of your results come from 20% of your activities. Use the ABCD method to establish priorities. An A task is something you must do without fail, because not completing it could have serious consequences. A B task is something you should do. Not completing it only entails mild consequences. A C task is something nice to do, but it doesn't really matter whether you do it or not.
A D task is something you delegate, and you know you should delegate as many tasks as possible. Finally, an E task is something you eliminate. So eliminate everything you can to free up as much time as possible. Once you have written A, B, C, D, or E next to your tasks, organize the list by A1, A2, A3, and then B1, B2, B3, etc. Early in the morning, start with task A1. And from that moment on, form the discipline of focusing absolutely on it until it is completed. The discipline of managing time well extends to all other forms of personal discipline and has immediate rewards because it gives you better results, as well as long-term satisfaction in terms of the quality of your life and work. The fourth is the discipline of courage. This requires you to do what you should, to face your fears instead of avoiding or evading them. As I mentioned earlier, the greatest obstacle to success is the fear of failure, which is expressed in that feeling that makes you say, I can't. Courage is a habit that is developed by practicing it whenever necessary. Emerson said, do what you fear, and your fear will surely die. Make a habit of confronting your fears instead of avoiding them. Every time you face and approach it, especially if it involves another person, group, or situation, fear diminishes, and you become braver and bolder. Actor Glenn Ford once said, If you don't do what you fear, fear will control your life. Repeat these words to yourself. I can do it. I can do it. Do it over and over until you gather enough courage and confidence in yourself. This phrase will nullify your fears. The fifth discipline serves to develop healthy habits. Your goal should be to live 100 years with impeccable health. Design and imagine your ideal body. How would it look if it were perfect in every way? This will be your goal. The key to health and fitness can be summed up in five words. Eat less and exercise more. Develop the discipline of exercising every day, even if you can only take a short walk. It's best to exercise in the morning as soon as you wake up and before you have time to think about it. Jump out of bed and get moving. If you do it for 21 days, it will become part of your daily routine for the rest of your life. The sixth discipline is regular saving and investing, two topics I've already talked about. Decide today to get out of debt, stay that way, and achieve financial independence. Make the decision and stop longing, waiting, and praying. Just do it. Your goal and everyone else's should be to achieve financial independence as soon as possible in their lives. This requires continuous financial discipline that you must exercise with every dollar you earn. The key is to save 10%, 15%, or even 20% of your income throughout your life. If you're already in debt, start by saving 1% of what you earn and form the discipline of living on the remaining 99% until it becomes a habit. Form the discipline of living with what's left. It is essential that you change the way you think. Stop saying to yourself, I love to spend, and start saying, I love to save. Move from, I like to spend, to I love to save. I'm fascinated to see my money multiply and accumulate every month. Soon, your mindset will change, and you will start thinking like successful and wealthy people do. The seventh discipline is that of continuous learning. Remember that to earn more, you have to learn more. Jim Rohn said the famous phrase, work on yourself as much as you work for your boss. Personal development is fundamental. So, read texts about your field for 30 to 60 minutes every day. This will translate into one book a week and 50 books a year. Listen to audio programs in your car when you go from one place to another. This will add between 500 and 1,000 hours a year. Attend seminars and take courses from experts in your field. A brilliant idea you hear in a course could save you years of intense work. Persistence equals personal discipline. The greatest test of personal discipline is persistence in the face of adversity. You can force yourself to complete your tasks no matter how you feel. Courage has two parts. The courage itself to start a project, to get something going despite not having a guarantee of success. The second part is the courage to endure, to persist when you feel discouraged and tired and want to give up. Your persistence represents how much or how little you believe in yourself and your ability to succeed. This means that the more you believe in the goodness and suitability of what you do, the more persistent you will be. The more you persist, the more you will tend to believe in yourself and what you do. Napoleon Hill said, For a man or woman's character, persistence is what coal is toll. Every time you persist despite feeling like quitting, you become a stronger and more solid person because you take control of your own character. And over time, you become unstoppable.
As we draw this discussion to a close, I want to leave you with a powerful reminder. The habit we've explored today has the potential to release a level of power and potential within you that you may never have imagined possible. By adopting this habit, by making it an integral part of your daily routine, you're tapping into a supply of strength, resilience, and determination that knows no bounds. But remember, true power doesn't come from external sources. It comes from within. It's about raising the right mindset, adopting the right habits, and taking consistent action towards your goals. As you embark on this journey of self-discovery and growth, I urge you to stay committed, stay focused, and never lose sight of the incredible potential that lies within you. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the power of habit. Now, armed with this knowledge and insight, go forth and adopt the habit that will make you truly powerful beyond belief. The world is yours for the taking. Deez it with all the strength and determination you possess. Godspeed, and may your journey be filled with endless possibilities and abundant success. Napoleon Hill said, Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Everything that you accomplish in your outer world is a result of your self-concept. Because of this, you always operate in a manner consistent with your self-concept, whether positive or negative. Even if your self-concept is made up of erroneous beliefs about yourself or your world, as far as you're concerned, these are facts. The worst of all beliefs are self-limiting beliefs. If you believe it, you will act as if you were deficient in that particular area of talent or skill. Overcoming self-limiting beliefs and self-imposed limitations is often the biggest obstacle standing between you and the realization of your full potential. Thomas Edison was expelled from school in the sixth grade. His parents were told that it would be a waste of time to spend any money educating him because he was not particularly smart or capable of being taught anything. Edison went on to become the greatest inventor of the modern age. Almost everyone has had the experience of mastering a skill in an area where they thought they had no ability and being quite surprised at themselves. The fact is you have more potential than you could ever use in your entire lifetime. No one is better than you, and no one is smarter than you. People are just smarter or better in different areas at different times. Each person is capable of achieving excellence in some way, in some area. Your responsibility to yourself is to cast off all these self-limiting beliefs and accept that you are an extraordinarily capable, talented person. The starting point of unlocking more of your potential is for you to identify your self-limiting beliefs. I have filing drawers full of letters and emails from people who had never heard this idea of self-limiting beliefs before, but once they heard it, they changed their entire attitudes toward themselves. They began to see themselves as far more competent and capable in key areas of their lives than they had ever been before. In no time at all, they began transforming their lives and changing their results. Many of them became millionaires and multi-millionaires. They went from the bottom of their companies to the top after they changed their beliefs about themselves and their personal potentials. They set bigger goals and threw their whole hearts into achieving them. By questioning their beliefs and by refusing to accept that they were limited in any way, they took complete charge of their lives and created new realities for themselves. If you absolutely believe that you are destined to be a big success, you will walk, talk, and act as if everything that happens to you in life is part of a great plan to make you successful. Top people look for the good in every situation, no matter how many reversals and setbacks they experience. They expect to get something good out of everything that happens to them. If your beliefs are positive enough, you will seek the valuable lesson in every setback or difficulty. When you start off, you may not feel like the great success that you desire to be. But if you act as if you were already the person you desire to be, with the qualities and talents that you desire to have, your actions will generate the feelings that go with them. Pick the most successful people in your field and use them as your role models. If possible, go to them and ask them for advice on how to get ahead more rapidly, and whatever advice they give you, follow it immediately. In no time at all, you will be one of the top people yourself. Your focus must be on creating the beliefs within yourself that are consistent with the great success you want to be in your outer world. Reprogram your subconscious mind for success by creating the mental equivalent in everything you do or say. You develop new beliefs by taking actions consistent with those beliefs. Act as if you already believe that you have these capabilities and competencies. You should only think and talk about the things that are moving you toward becoming the person you want to be and toward achieving the goals that you want to achieve. 
Make a decision this very day to challenge and reject any self-limiting beliefs that you might have that could be holding you back. You might ask your friends and family members if they see any negative beliefs that you might have. Here are three things you can do immediately to put these ideas into action. First, act as if you were one of the most competent and highly respected people in your field. How would you think, act, and feel differently from today? Second, imagine that you have a goal in touch with regard to money. If you are an extremely competent money manager, how would you handle your finances differently from the way you handle them today? And third, identify the self-limiting beliefs that could be holding you back. How would you act if these self-limiting beliefs were completely untrue? We all know what enthusiasm is like when somebody lets us see their enthusiasm. The enthusiasm that runs deep. The enthusiasm that comes from deep inside, created by self-confidence, created by purpose, created by genuine willingness to help other people. People call it genuine enthusiasm because they know that what you say and the outward display of your enthusiasm is only a small tip of the iceberg of the enthusiasm you feel inside that really motivates you to do the best job you can. Next on my list to help you become the powerful variable is expertise. If you're willing to be the best in your field, if you're willing to demand of yourself excellence and skills to be the best that you can possibly be in the training, do the best you possibly can. Here was the next one on my list, that is preparation. Preparation, of course, involves a whole lot of things. A big share of our life is preparing, getting ready. Prepare yourself for success. Life seemingly does not wish to waste success on the unprepared. Will not only look for fortune, prepare yourself, and ask of yourself, what can I do to make myself ready? Because remember, life was designed not to give us what we want, not to give us what we need, but life was designed to give us what we deserve. Well prepared. Prepare yourself to be ready for fortune when it comes, to be ready for challenge when it comes, to be ready for opportunity when it comes. Opportunity comes along and passes by the person that is not well prepared. There are four powerful mental laws that you need to know. The first is the law of belief. Whatever you believe with feeling becomes your reality. If you absolutely believe that you are destined to be a great success, then there is nothing in the world that can stop you from becoming that great success. Peter Daniels, who started off working on the streets, became very wealthy. He studied the lives of 500 men and women who became successful. He read their biographies and looked for the common denominator of success. He finally found the common thread. The common thread was every one of those people always believed in themselves. They always believed that they were going to be a big success in life. They always expected to do well, no matter what happens. Everything is going to conspire together to make you a great success. And if you absolutely believe that and absolutely expect that, everything is going to help you, that will become your reality. The reason why we do not achieve greatly is we hold ourselves back by our own beliefs. We over-exaggerate negative events. The second law is the law of expectations. Whatever you expect with confidence becomes your own self-fulfilling prophecy. If you expect to be successful, you eventually will be successful. Positive, successful, winning individuals have an attitude of positive expectancy. The greatest of all attitudes, the catalyst that causes your potential to unlock, almost like a chemical catalyst that causes an explosive effect, is confident expectations. An attitude of confident expectations transforms your attitude toward your world. If you always expect something good, you'll never be disappointed, and it has a total transforming effect on your attitude. Now here's an exercise for you. Repeat throughout the day these words. I believe that something wonderful is going to happen to me today. Now say that to yourself every single morning when you get up and say that something wonderful is going to happen to you that day. It's the most amazing damn thing. You've set up a force field of positive expectations and something wonderful happens to you. The third law is the law of correspondence. This law says that your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Your outer world of wealth, work, relationships and health will always be a reflection of what is going on inside you. To become the person that you would like to be, you create a mental picture of your newly conceived self, and if you continue to hold it, the day will come when you are in reality that person. When you employ your imagination properly, you see yourself doing a thing, and you go ahead and do it. It's the doing of the thing you have pictured to yourself that brings it into actual existence. However, it is very difficult for the average person to concentrate for any length of time 
to say nothing of holding on to a mental picture for any great period. The results will be pure or complex, depending upon the original seed and the attention which you give it. In other words, plant the right kind of seed and habitually feed it with strong affirmative thought always directed toward the same end. It will grow into a mighty force, finding ways and means of overcoming all obstacles. The final law, which links them all, is the law of attraction. This law says that you are a living magnet, and that you attract people and circumstances into your life that harmonize with your dominant thought. The more you think about something and the more excited you are about achieving it, the more you will attract it into your life, like a magnet attracts iron filings. And the more emotion attached to a thought, the greater is the intensity of the vibration. The more emotion you have, if you think about what you're going to have for lunch, it has very little vibrational effect. But if you think about someone you love, or a goal that you want to achieve or something you want to accomplish or even something you're afraid of, it has a tremendous emotional effect, like turning up the emotional power. If you want to be really successful, and you see successful people and you start to resonate with their accomplishments, you start to become more like them. So don't talk about things you don't want, because your mind is so powerful. It's this powerful engine that is sending out your vibrations, and attracting into your life people and circumstances in harmony with the things you're saying, and the thoughts that you're thinking.